what's up youtube it's your girl shiny and welcome back to the woman's palace now today we're gonna be talking about a topic i know i was so interested in and y'all probably is too it's why did god let eve eat the fruit without interrupting now i know for a long time i questioned that like god come on you god you heard it you let the whole creation fall before you just tell her no but I got revelation. So let's go to Gen Genesis 1 and 26. Okay. And we finna get the answer. And it says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them. This is the key word right here. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. The key word here is them. You got to realize that God gave us the power. God put the power in our hands. So this is where the free will comes into play. And you got to understand that God doesn't go against his word. He, Like he said, heaven and earth will pass away before his word returns unto him void. God gave us the power to choose. He gave us to be able to rebel against him, right? So in that sense, he can't interfere with what his word is saying. See, what I had to make... What made me realize if God would have interfered with Eve with making her free choice on what she wanted to do, we could never trust God because he would have went off on his word. So it was good for God not to have interfered because that shows that he's a worthy God. He's a trustful God. You can put your faith in him because he don't play about his word. Now he had a backup plan. He already had that backup plan for us. And that should show that you that he loves us enough to already have the backup plan just in case we went against him. He let us, let them have dominion, which means let you have the power to choose. This is where he said, I said life and death. I, I hope you choose life, but I'm gonna give you the choice not to. So in that sense, he couldn't interfere because he would be going against his word. Something that just kind of like, you know what? It makes sense. The power, God puts the power in our hands. Yes, God is all powerful. Yes, he can do all things, but he don't go against his word. And his word was saying, I'm going to give you the power. I'm going to give you the authority to choose what you want to do. Now, if you go against me, just know its consequences. But I hope, I hope that's why he say choose life. You think about all the millions of trees they probably have. Don't eat from this one tree. Why did they eat from the one tree? It's always temptation. You think about what temptation comes. Somebody, I don't know about y'all. Somebody tell me not, not to do it. That's the first thing. Why not? I'm about, I'm about to go try it. I don't want to go see. You know, and that's the enemy. The enemy, when you tell a person not to, it's always sparks your interest to a why not. And then the whole creation fell. You know, sometimes you don't need to know the consequences. You just need to know God, that God loves you enough to not put you in no danger. So you know what? Don't do it. But in this sense, it answered my question that God put the power in our hands and he's not going to interfere with what we choose because that would be going against his word. If he would have said, let us have dominion, he could have interfered. But he said, let them. He gave us the power over earth. He gave us the power to choose. And he can't interfere with that because he gave you the choice. So that's why God didn't interfere with Eve. I want you to take this scripture back to God. Reflect on it. Just read it over and over again and get revelation from God. But this right here really just opened my eyes to even, even how you can say God is a great God. Because even then... He still, he can be trusted because even then when he knew the whole creation would fall, he still didn't go on, go back on his word, but he did create a solution where he can still connect us back to God. He loved you so much that even if you did choose to go against him, he still made it a way that you can connect back to him. That is a great God and he is worthy. So I want you guys to go out and be a light in this dark world and continue to strive and be the best you.